I know Gareth was saying how several people told him don't fuck this up when he yeah. got, got the gig. I mean, yeah. there was always a bit of trepidation about remaking beloved things. What was it about his take that really appealed to you, made you kind of overcome that, uh, that fear? Well, if you see his movie Monsters, you, you get a, a really good sense of his sensibility, that he, he places a high value on character development and laying out plausible plot lines that you can follow and interweave. And, um, and almost, it's not, I was going to say secondary, but, but it, it, it almost as a, as a treat, as a dessert, you get the monster. And the original film's kind of rooted in very specific uh, kind of historical landscape, I guess. What are the sort of real world things that are going on with, with this updated take? Um, I, I actually, I don't know like how much I'm allowed to say, but I do think that there's this, um, it, 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 pays, not reverence is the wrong word, but it definitely um, refers to a lot of um, natural, like in a way Godzilla represents our, our need to control nature and how nature will overpower us eventually. And it references times in our, in our history where things like that have happened, which I think is really smart and grounding and, and, and what makes it different. It's very much a human focused story. Because I'm of the belief, and this is why I'm here, is that if you don't care as an audience member, if you aren't invested in these characters, it doesn't matter what he's crushing or, you know, I, you know okay, oh, he, he took that boat and he sank the boat and there's people on the boat, ah, that's too bad. Yeah. But I don't, I don't feel anything because I never got a chance to know these people. But if you know them, if you invest them, if you see their lives, their desires, their fears, their hopes, uh, and then put that in jeopardy, then, you, then you're with them, then you're with us. And that's the hope, and that's what he was able to do, is craft this idea to where he brings the audience in based on, on what we're telling them, you know, and, and uh, as honest as we can portray it, and then have the audience ride with us through this gauntlet of terror. And what kind of idea did you have in your mind of what the monster looked like and how you were interacting? I mean, how did you approach that? You know, uh, an actor's, an actor's palette is life experience and imagination, you know, right? you know, whatever you don't have in your own personal experience, you need to supplant with your imagination. So I've been doing it all my life. So it wasn't, it wasn't really that difficult to imagine, you know, something wanting to kill you. <laughs> I've had those nightmares. <laughs>